We play Arsenal today, and then we've got the second leg of the Champions League. We've got our advantage. Now, can we force it home? Welcome back, everybody. And uh, we've just had a little bit of mixed bag of results, really, to be perfectly honest, since our win at Napoli. Yeah, very disappointing, but we're still hanging on to fifth spot. Only just, though, we're only uh, two points ahead of United, but United have now got a game in hand. If we just let you run through the results. Uh, we beat West Brom 2-1 after the Napoli game. Very, very um, decent and professional uh, game. 2 it up after half an hour. Marty getting his first goal uh, for the club. And uh, he's having a little bit of problems uh, settling in as well. So we're trying to give him as much game time as we can just to make him feel at home. West Brom did get a goal back in the last half hour. It was a little bit uh, nerve-wracking to say the least. But uh, we managed to uh, go through it. Liverpool in the FA Cup as expected. We only lost 1-0 though this time. We did push three in midfield for this one. Um, not quite defensive but uh, more uh, bodies back uh, if we needed it. Uh, not a bad result, 1-0. It could have gone either way, to be perfectly honest. We had the same amount of shots. We had more on target, though, to be perfectly honest. And uh, I feel like we should have won this one. That led us on to the Newcastle game, 1-0. Then we found ourselves 2-1 down, as uh, normally is the issue. And then Matarali steps up with a superb goal on 70 minutes. So that ended up 2-2. So a win, a loss and a draw. Vargas getting his first goal in about eight hours of football, so that was quite pleasing as well. He has now netted 15 now in the league, 19 overall, and he's uh, doing pretty good as well. He's doing a lot better than he did for Leon last season. He's still got about eight games left, and he's two goals off uh, getting uh, that amount of goals that he got last season. Uh, he's still a way off from the season before, though, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. As long as he does well here, hopefully he'll pick up next season. So today we've got Arsenal and we've got uh, Napoli in the second leg. Arsenal are uh, eight points behind us. We could increase that to 11 if we beat them. The club visions don't look that great anymore. Uh, we failed in the FA Cup, failed in the Carabao Cup, only because we played the top teams. I mean, what more can we do against like the likes of Man City and Liverpool? It's, uh, it'd be a miracle if we did beat them. But uh, it was not to be at the moment. We're just having a torrid time against the top six teams. It really, we really are. Uh, we're going to finish in the top half, hopefully, especially in the top six or top seven. Uh, hopefully, we're going to try and get into the top four as well. And uh, we've reached the minimum of the knockout round, which we're playing now. Hopefully, we'll get to the second round. Right, let's jump into the first game then. It's Arsenal at home. Let's have a look at the team. Right then, Young is going to remain in goal. We've got Williams, Bongiorno, Wakefield and Vasquez at the back. We've got McNally and Iglesias in, in midfield. And then we've got Brasino. Riley and Hughes out on the wings and Vargas up front. Brasino, he's got a star by his name. Highest average rating in six, eight games, 7.3. That's a lot to be said, isn't it? Vargas, our top goal scorer, 19 in 33 or 39 with two assists. So hopefully he's going to do pretty well for us as well. O'Reilly's got netted a few goals as well, three. And same with Hughes, he's got 11. Uh, I was going to go defensive for this one, but seeing we're at home, I feel like the best form of defence is attack. Uh, let's surprise them. Let's see if we can jump straight into the matters. And uh, let's kick off this game as uh, anything less than a draw is going to be awful for us. And uh, we've started off really poorly already. We're 1-0 down after three minutes. It's a whipped in um, free kick. I mean, that went with some um, venom, that did, and the header. Young, what are you doing? I think uh, we are going to have to look at another goalkeeper next season, I believe. We do seem to leak an awful lot of goals. We want a shop stopper. That's what we definitely want. Arsenal are coming at us again. It's not unheard of that we can go 2-0 down and then come back. Uh, Arsenal did it to us, so why can't we do it against them? So we need to start putting results against these top six. Arsenal seem to be the uh, least better of them as uh, Hughes proves it for his 12th goal of the season there's no flag it's okay and uh, Williams gets another assist to his name I think that's I'm not sure if that's double figures assist for him though but he makes his way down that line beautifully and uh, I'm not sure Diallo would have done that but at the moment it's that back 
post header with the uh, Hughes once again and uh, we're back on level terms boys and girls about five minutes away from half time we have another attack Hughes still gets the ball though uh, Vasquez is going to go down the line no chips over to Hughes he's been brought over it's a penalty referee that's got to be a penalty. Stonewall penalty. Even if it's on the edge, it's a penalty. It looks like it's a free kick. Oh, that sucks. I thought that might have been a penalty. Cross comes in and uh, steal with the save for Arsenal. Very disappointed. I thought that might have been a penalty. That is about it. And it's just started to rain as well. Uh, Kieran Tierney booked on 15 minutes. Apart from that, nothing's really happened. Uh, best performer so far is uh, Hughes on the 7.3. You weren't that bad, but I believe you can do better. And that's what I want to say. Yes, then they seem to be relatively happy with that as we kick off the second half. And let's hope we don't concede that early again. We seem to be on top of this game for a change. And uh, it's not as if we don't normally get on top of the games against Arsenal. But Arsenal just seem to have that quality of finishing towards the end of games, don't they? They don't seem to tire very much, which our lads seem to be doing quite an awful lot of. 15 minutes to go. We've just made a couple of substitutions. Reyes, Antonello and Teresi have now come on. And nothing really happened in the second half. There is a chance for Arsenal, though, as they have the ball once again. And Ruben Neves over into Kenner. And uh, hopefully we're going to push them back a little bit. Neves controlling that midfield though. But Arsenal, as they do, as we get the interception. And Antonella picks it up into Glazer. Then Glazer fires it down the line. Vargas is on goal. And uh, that's unfortunate by Vargas though. Not quite hitting the back of the net. But it did hit the goalkeeper to go over. Corner ball. Wakefield. He's just going to plant this in. He should really be in the box, I feel. Teresi giving him back. Cross comes back in and another effort and this time again it goes over the bar. It's getting a little bit worryingly that we cannot put these teams to bed, especially at home. And Arsenal, I'd say that we were the better team in that. 40 to 60, I don't see it personally. Apparently, Arsenal were managerless. What happened there? Why did he get sacked? At the moment, the manager is Francesco Mauri. What happened to their man managers? What happened to the uh, um, Klopp? They just sacked him, did they? They just sacked him just like that. Wow. I didn't even notice that. They just sacked him. Arsenal haven't been doing relatively well at all, though. It has to be said. I mean, he had a 55% win percentage, though. Right, just before we go to the Champions League game against Napoli, uh, United drew 1-1 with Liverpool, so that's good news for us. So they remain at two points behind us now. They do, uh, they do have a game in hand still. But we do remain eight points clear of Arsenal, which is probably the main thing that we're really wanting. And Liverpool, as they are being held, they're only two points ahead of us. So it's still fourth place, still up for grabs, as we seem to be losing sight of third spot where we finished last season. So let's uh, move along to the Napoli game and we'll see you guys in just a second. Right, here we are then, the Champions League second leg in the first knockout round. We're turning up. And uh, we're just going to change the side ever so slightly. Uh, Young is going to remain in goal. Diallo, Montero, Bongiorno and Vasquez at the back. We've got Omar and Iglesias in the centre. Omar, uh, he's not, uh, his morale's very low at the minute. So we're trying to up it as well. So hopefully giving this game time will uh, help him out a little bit there. Maldini on the right. Rabi on the left. Teresi in the centre with Antonello up front. Uh, we want to try and give these players some sort of game time, especially Teresi, Antonelli and Rabi as well, because they are playing very, very well. Boost their morales up as much as we can. If everybody's happy, then the whole team plays relatively well. So uh, Napoli coming to Bolton. Let's see what they make of this then, shall we? Let's prove a point today into the tunnels and uh, let's start this game. Right, 2-0 up from the first leg. Can we go on and uh, just... It should be a normal formality. I should have really changed the goalkeeper as well. Uh, give Young a little bit of a break as well. He's there virtually every single game. Free kick outside the area. And uh, it's a great stop by Young. Um, it looks very close, but uh, I doubt very much they're going to accept that though. So that probably hopefully spurs us into some sort of action here. Uh, but that's not the sort of action we're at. literally wanting, is it, all the way back to the goalkeeper, Montero. Plays our way to Maldini. Uh, I'm not sure how he's been playing this game, though, but it's, uh, it's nice to see him on the ball. Antonello, great ball for Rabi, and he's just been legged over. That's going to be a penalty kick, I believe. Uh, Rabi's going to take it as well, so he gets knocked over. He's going to take it. Let's see if he can put a ball in the back of the net. Uh, there'll be no way back. It is. It's 3-0 on aggregate. I don't think there's any way back for Napoli now. So the 
games against the Italian clubs just seem to come and go and we just seem to boss them every single time. Hopefully we'll get another Italian club in the next round. Hopefully that's half time. It's a pretty plain sailing, especially with almost a second string team. Uh, they're not even trying their best, I don't think. As uh, We have got 56% possession, 11 shots to their one. Uh, we have a corner ball. Maldini gets one in and plants that straight onto Teresa's head. His third goal of the season. 2 0 on the night, 4 0 on aggregate. I think it's plain sailing. Maldini, uh, the instigator, once again. It's a great cross in, though, this time as well. And this time it does beat the front two. And the Teresa just sleeps above everybody else and nods it in. Uh, United are 1 0 up on the night as well. 2 0 on aggregate. McKinnon scoring again. Now they're 3 0 on aggregate. And they seem to be plain sailing in that game as well. Uh, Napoli coming once again. Not having many chances on goal, Napoli. As uh, they're trying to look for a way in. And maybe we ought to think about shutting up shop at some point. Uh, half an hour to go still. Cr get the cross in. Uh, that's just knocked over as well. Bolton has seen a lot of European uh, glory nights happening already. Team's looking a little bit complacent here. There's a Maldini with a free kick. Is What's he going to do? He's going to just plant one in there as well. 13th of the season for Maldini. 30 yards out. Hits off the crossbar and it goes in. N nicely done. 5-0 on aggregate. We just seem to be doing very well. It's a good curl on it. Straight onto the goalkeeper's head there it felt like. But yeah, that's uh, that's nice. Right, we seem to be racing through this game. There's a couple of substitutions happening. Reyes and Arali are on as well. I think Iglesias has come on as well. As we seem to be very, very solid at the back as well. So it seems quite nice and quite comfortable at the moment. I'm just wondering whether to drop the formation. But I think at 5-0, we can just relatively just stay as we are. Uh, Vasquez with a header to Terezi. And they're doing relatively well, aren't they? These guys are. Vasquez. All the way back to Iglesias, who's uh, having a little bit of time in the defence as well. Lad. It's 4-0 on the night. Rabi getting his second goal. Wow, it's uh, looking very good, boys and girls, isn't it? 6-0 overall. Are they going to get a late consolation goal? Solomon to play into Ramsey. And, uh, yeah, Napoli just don't have an answer for our skills there and uh, that's a poor effort even though he did dribble all the way through and have a shot on goal as well and uh, we're going to run out of this game pretty easy and comfortable as well is there a possibility of another one really uh, so try to flick it over to Maldini Maldini then wow it's a corner ball Napoli panicked at the back corner ball Maldini to take it it's going to just lamp it in. Nice. Lovely stuff. And the Therese should be able to pick that up. It's going up about... That should be about time out, referee. It is. Uh, we totally dominated that game. 15 shots to their eight. Uh, Rabi with two goals. Therese with one. And Maldini with the other one as well. United win 5-0 at Old Trafford. McKinnon getting a hat-trick. And uh, winning 6-0 on uh, on aggregate. as Same aggregate score as us. And for our trouble, we win ourselves £8 million. Pounds. Wow, that's massive. That's huge. And uh, Rabi's uh, impressors. Excellent stuff. Let's just have a look what that does for our finances. And that is uh, that goes, does give us some money now. 13 million almost. Very nice indeed. And just before we go over to the... Um, wow. To the uh, draw. Uh, Arsenal have offered me a job. Wow. That's exciting. Uh, decline. <laughs> It's nice to be uh, asked, but uh, it, it's a no. It's a no from me. <laughs> Mark Palios, I'm sorry. It's a no. Right then, the draw for the quarterfinals then. Uh, we're into the hat. Atletico Madrid are in the hat. Arsenal and Milan still yet to play their second leg. Monaco are in. Barcelona are in. Dortmund, United and Man City as well. It's going to be tough no matter who. Who would I prefer to have? Probably be Milan. Uh, Monaco possibly. Uh, yeah, Monaco or Milan. Let's have a look then. Let's draw the first team as uh, we are at home for the first leg. Who do we get? And we're going to get Man United. Yeah, we would do, wouldn't we? Great. Great, great news. Um, so that's going to be uh, quite difficult considering how United play. Uh, they are very, very solid. Let's draw the rest of the teams. Uh, Man City will play Dortmund. Arsenal or Milan will play Barcelona. Atletico will play Monaco. So it's an all English tie. For the early English team to play against another English team, which seems a little bit uh, bizarre and fixed. That's the way I feel it. It seems fixed. 
Right, not happy about it. Not happy at all. And now the draw for the semi-final then. If we go through, let's uh, have a look. Uh, Atletico or Monaco will play ourselves or Man United. Okay, so uh, that's the draw I probably would have preferred in the quarter-final. But the semi-final, it's going to be very, very tough that half. But I feel like if we get past United, we could get ourselves into the final. That would be, really be something. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Where does that leave us now? Right, uh, that's when we're going to be coming back to then. It looks like we're going to be skipping past Bournemouth. We've got Chelsea away, United, Norwich at home. Wow, um, this Champions League story is going to carry on continuing, isn't it? It's going to be tough either way uh what we'll do i think this time round we'll come back to the second leg of the champions league i'm not holding out much but uh possibly the norwich man united or united southampton we'll see how that goes on as we're nearing the end of the season as well who knows we could get ourselves into a final that would really be something so second leg here we come either norwich or southampton so if you enjoyed that, please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more on YouTube channel, please subscribe. And until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.